Hi. Many people over the years have asked how my flute journey began. So as briefly as I can make this story, it all, it all started with music and my love for music. And that started in about third grade for me. Somebody came to our school and they did a little demonstration on trumpet. And they said, who would like to learn how to do this? And my hand shot up into the air. I have no idea why. Because before that I had nothing that that suggested an interest in music for me. Anyway, I started playing trumpet. They loaned me a trumpet. The next year I signed up again. I was loving this and they didn't have a trumpet to loan me. I said, but we have a French horn and it has the same style of mouthpiece. You use these three, three, uh, plungers to control the notes and things like that. It's different, but it's similar. Okay, I'll do that. So I had to relearn everything. The music staff changed. The next year, ready to get back into it again. And every year you have to turn in your instrument that they loan you and get it again the next year. So I go back the next year and we don't have any brass instruments to loan out. But we have a cello. You could learn how to play the cello. So I did that. The next year the same exact thing happened again. We don't have a cello. We have a viola. It was either a viola or a violin. I forget which. So I started doing that. So four years in a row I am a beginner every year and I was getting a little tired of having to start over every year. So I stopped. Luckily shortly after that my parents they couldn't afford to get me an instrument, they couldn't rent an instrument, but they did get me an electric guitar for Christmas through Blue Chip Stamps Redemption program. So you get blue chip stamps when you spend money for buying gas or, you know, it's sort of like getting points today. Back then it was green stamps or blue chip stamps and it was blue chip stamps were real big in our area in Southern California where we lived. So they traded in the blue chip stamps that they had been accumulating in books for a electric guitar that I had been lusting after in their catalog. It was probably pretty obvious what I wanted because of where the pages were all worn or what it wanted to open up to. So they got me an electric guitar. Um, not like this, but an electric guitar. And I played that happy as a clam for years decades actually. And then all of a sudden I'm a dad. My boys are in Boy Scouts or excuse me Cub Scouts and my oldest boy was going to be graduating into Boy Scouts and these people were going to come dressed up as Native Americans and do this ceremony. So I was in charge of our Cub Scout group. What can I do to try to set the mood for this? I canvassed all of the record stores. There were a lot of them back then. And I could not find any kind of music that was Native American style. Until somebody suggested a bookstore that was downtown that I had never gone into. I didn't even know that they had uh, records or CDs. I went in there and asked. They had one. It was from a gentleman named Robert Tree Cody and somebody else. It was called Crossroads. This was last minute now, bear in mind. So, 
please, please be something that will work for what I intend it to be. So I, I bought it. I got all my stuff together. I went down to the meeting that night, put my boom box on the stage, put the CD in, hadn't listened to it, closed the lid, please work. Clicked play and I kind of turned the volume down and I'm greeting people as they come in. In the back of my mind, I keep hearing this in the background, and something is attracting my attention. So, the end of the night, everything went beautifully, the ceremony went great. I'm putting everything away after I get home, and I put that CD on my stereo. I turn that on while I'm putting things away, and I finally just had to sit down because it was amazing. I, I'm hearing this sound that I just loved. It was the Native American style flute. And I knew right then, the year was 2000, that I had to have a Native American style flute. I found one a little while afterwards, very, very inexpensive at some kind of a gift store, trading post type thing. I bought one for my youngest boy, I bought one for me. It tried to convince me that I couldn't play the flute. A few years after that, this is in 2007 now, I went to a Boy Scout event, the same people who did that ceremony, and there was a gentleman there giving a demonstration and uh, he had flute kits to complete. But I didn't have the money to do that, but I raised my hand when he said, Anybody can play the Native American style flute. And I'm like, ah, wait a minute. And so he had me come up, walk me through the fingering, and I knew how to do the fingering already, but all of a sudden this sounded musical. A flute. So the next year, 2008, I bought my kit flute. I finished it there over the weekend. We, we did all the, the shaping of the mouth, or I did the shaping of the mouthpiece and sanding and everything of the body. This was a rectangle for the first six months that I owned it because I didn't know what I wanted to carve and I finally settled on my little uh, coyote. Anyway, a G flute. This is what I started on. I was all set. And then that grew into my love for flute. All of a sudden, I wasn't playing my guitar anymore for a lot of years. And I had to probably during the last five years, I finally started playing the guitar again and teach, reteaching me, myself how to play the guitar for my backing tracks and everything. But that is how I was led into the flute as uh, a part of my musical uh, experience and the story of how I was acquainted with the Native American, or how I came to the Native American flute, or how it came to me. Hope you enjoy the story. It's all true. And uh, they're amazing, truly amazing instruments. Simple. You can take them almost any place. Uh, I've, I've taken them on many, many hikes. Uh, something that is harder to do with a guitar. They have backpacking guitars that I'm not fond of. But these, you can stick them back in a backpack, go on a hike, go on a backpacking trip. I've done, I've done both of those many times. And uh, give it a try. I've got some lessons on how to play the Native American style flute, if you are interested. 
Uh, thanks much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.